Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. I was a little confused with the time and I was like looking at things and it started playing and I'm like, oh, I think I'm supposed to click the go live button, which I have done and now I am here. Hello, it's Kathy Zilski. I'm here in my studio on a very, well, you can't see because there's really no outdoor light coming in, but it is a very gloomy and snowy day here in Minnesota. But I am so happy to have you all joining my live. And thank you for, you know, coming back after a few weeks. I took a few weeks off and from, from live streaming. And I'm excited to be back. So I have some questions for you. Number one, how are you doing? How's everyone doing out there? I can see your comments coming through and it's wonderful to have you. I would also love feedback on the audio. Is this too loud? And yes, it is. It's multiple trees. I've got a tree. Well, so here's the thing. I'm teaching at a holiday event this weekend, and I kind of needed to deck everything out with holiday. And so I pulled out some, some trees, and then that the tree that's just right there, I got that at Target today. Yeah, I just had to, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to just tone the audio down because I did something yesterday and I felt like it was a little too loud. So we're just trying to work out the bugs. You know, we're working out the bugs. Yeah. I don't know how long my hair is going to stay down, to be honest with you. I I looked a lot fancier and then I was like, I am i can't do this. I'm, I'm too cold. I'm too cold. I'm not going to be fancy. Throwing on the new black sweatshirt from Old Navy and I'm good to go. So, oh, Lydia, I hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling better. All right. Um, so yes, it's great to be here. I'm so happy you're here and let's see what we can get going today. All right. I have some things to show you because because I don't have a complete plan, but I have a partial plan. I have a partial plan and actually I might make a tag, but we're, we'll see. All right. Let's take a look at the table. Okay. So have our little table here now. I'm going to get that mouse out of the way because I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally quit this live stream because, you know, I've done that before. I've done that before. And actually I can't stand it. We're, we're getting it up and out. Okay. Um, this hair is really long and thick. And right now we're going to whip it up and clip it. Let me tell you, these are the greatest things that have ever hit hair because they don't hurt, like they don't hurt, and I love it. Okay, so if you saw my kit opening, there's this, uh, the Santa, right? And I just, I just think it's super cute. And I saw my friend and my coworker, Susan Opal from, she works for Simon and she works for scrapbookandcards.com magazine. Um, she used my Sassy Christmas. I love this set. I, I, and I didn't, I haven't done a lot with it. Um, I love Naughty and Nice. I love Let's Get Merry. So I thought we're going to do something. Now it might be a tag and it might be a card, but first things first, we're going to, we're going to cut out Santa pieces. Now I want to show you something though. Maybe I showed you this, but I think it's been a while. Um, I want to show you uh, my new cardstock. Oh, there I'm looking there. <laughs> I want to show you my new cardstock bin. You want to see it? Oh, come here now. Okay, this is making me very, very happy. This is one of the, what are these called? V Valer, oh gosh, there's a name at Ikea, right? It's these little bins and it's the smaller one. And in my bin here, I have expanded this to include my paper scraps, okay? And what I did was I took all my paper scraps. Uh, no, Rhea, I did not design that Santa. I wish I had, cause it's so cute. Um, oh yes, Lydia, good point. I will enjoy this hair while I have it. Good point. Um, well, what I did was I took all my paper scraps and I decided to create, cut, cut them down and put them into rainbow order and put them in a bin because prior to this, my paper scraps were a hot freaking mess. And you know, they were, they were, some were large, a lot were small. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and just do this. And now I have this little bin and I can reach in when I need something. And that's just to keep it all, hold it in, in place, right? So this makes me very happy. Val Valeria, but no, it's not Valeria. I think I've got Hot Dragon. I call it Hot Dragon. House of the Dragon. It's, this is old Valeria. That, that's what this is. Um, 
I'm going to, I don't know if Emma's watching today, but I will add the links to these because they're, you know, they're like $2 from uh, Ikea and I have been buying them every time I go. So we're going to, well, we're going to move you aside for now if I need you and I will in a little, in a little minute. So let's cut some things out. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to cut a Santa base, right? And, uh. I will link it. Yes, I just have to remember to do it. So in fact, I don't know if Emma's here. I've got a notepad and I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down. Okay. So IKEA bin. Although Emma might be here. It's the smaller bin. There's there's big one and there's a small one, and that one is the uh that one is the smaller one. I think there's only two. All right, I need to cut some of this. I love IKEA too, because pretty much um it, it's just made my life so great in this space because you know there there will be a, a tour coming promise there's going to be but oh did I cut that large enough <gasps> barely okay good uh I have to finish organizing but I promise we are you know we're gonna do it we're gonna have a wonderful tour in this space but what you Laura Passon Laura Mother from another brother, sister, mother. I don't I don't know how that phrase goes. I just got super excited because I, I love me some Laura. Love me some Laura Bassin. But um, I just completely lost my train of thought. Oh, there will be. See, Laura, you got me all flustered. <laughs> just hot and bothered. Um, there will be a tour and it will be great. But here's what you need to know. I can't fit everything up here right now. I just can't. So the only stamps and dies that are coming up to my room right now are things that are new and that I'm going to be using. Um, because I just, you know, yeah, Laura, you know, you, you can come. You can come anytime. It is very cozy. It is not as big as you think. Okay. Let's, let's go to the die cut cam, shall we? All right. Now, someone said to me in the die cut cam, they said, Kathy, can you slow your roll? So I'm going to slow my roll a little here, but we're cutting slow my roll. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling that well. Uh, the extra long scissors. All right, let's come back here. These are from Tim Holtz. Now the new, the ones that you can get from Tim Holtz are the black handled ones, but I've had these for so long that mine are the old red handled ones and I love them. They're very nice. Uh, it's yes, Rhea, it's called let me pop this up. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is the box. It's like Variera or something like that. Anyway. Oh, hello, Jenny, all the way from the Netherlands. We like to have, I just said Netherlands. Netherlands, not Netherlands. Okay. All right. Did I tell you that I broke my Gina K uh, pick and stick? Oh, I guess I can put that down. Oh, there you go. It goes away. Uh, I broke, I broke the tip, but, um, I have a new one on order. I just want you to know. Very, very excited about that. Okay. We're popping, we're popping you out. Also, can I ask you how the picture looks? Is it too bright? I don't know. Um, by the way, this is, this is the Simon Says Stamp, uh, velvet. It's velvet. Yeah. And yes, TJ, it is, it is, it is wonderful. Now here was what we're going to do. We're taking Santa. I got, I got to keep these parts together and we're just going to, well, I guess we're just going to pop them out like that. How about I slide him on some red? Here we go. And did I need that nose? No, I didn't. Uh, but I did need this. Oh, Kathy, you're getting a little wild. Okay. The light look good. Uh, little, little heads up. I have a new camera coming. So that is going to be exciting. And actually, you know what? Rather than do this, I'm going to cut one more Santa. Can I squeeze him? Oh, I can. I'm going to cut one more for some dimension. It is bright, but well focused. Okay. Yeah. It might be a little bright right now. Um, I, oh, Emma, you are here. Good. Good to see you. Uh, I have to remember to blink an Ikea bin. <laughs> Let's, let's cut this out. Um, I have ordered a new camera. It is not here yet. It will be here tomorrow, I think. Uh, <laughs> however, that said, 
that doesn't mean it's going to be working and set up because it's going to require some assistance from the hubby and sometimes he's got time and sometimes he doesn't and that's fine that's the way they roll but I have to install the amount uh, into the ceiling because I did buy a dedicated video camera a camcorder uh, so I can just be set up because I have always filmed with my iPhone which honestly does it does a great job it really does iPhone's great if you have an iPhone and an idea you can you know you can well you can make magic but I'm excited to have this new setup because it's just going to make things easier. Okay, let's grab a little liquid glue. And here's what we're going to do. I do need a face for him. However, oh, I need red too. Okay, let's do some red. <laughs> just, there's a, Santa has a lot of pieces. All right, we're sliding it in. Oh, <laughs> old eyes. You know what? My, my eyes too. I, I didn't... Uh, I'm going to take this piece. I didn't wear glasses until I turned 40 and then I couldn't see anything and then I started wearing glasses and now when I don't have glasses on I feel like I don't even look like myself. So there you go. All right, we need some red. We can do the red. Here we go. Um, and this time I'm going to flip it, but I always cut into the same plate, you know, uh, die cut cam. There's a lot of, there's a lot of buttons. Yes, and I think having a dedicated camera too, I mean, not that I have, uh, it is called the Very Era Box. There you go, Trisha Van Dyke, look at this. I'm popping it up while I do the next thing. That's the box and that's the size. And let me tell you, you can, you can, you can fit a lot of things into them. And, and I will share more, again, when I do an actual tour of how this room is set up, it's, yeah, they're great. They fit in all kinds of places and spaces and I guess I only needed <laughs> I should do Santa's eyes in red he's angry because of something you did um okay I'm gonna set this over here for now I do need to die cut some more but for right now okay I think we're good oh Kelly thank you for the super chat I just looked up and saw it and thank you so much sometimes I miss those and thank you so much that was very nice love the super chat okay glue Please. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to just glue some of these pieces onto the hat, right? I'm gonna start up here. And this is where I wish I had my Gina, but I'm just gonna use my other one. You know, they all work about the same. I just really liked Gina's tool. I think it's really pretty. And which way does this go? We are gonna add a little dimension to this hat. Okay, there we go. Die cut side down. I'm gonna pop it in there. Now that's just white cardstock. Okay. I don't know if I can zoom in. Let me try. Let me see here. Uh, candy. there we go. Oh, I'm zoomed in as much. So I moved where my camera was so that it wouldn't cut my face off with the new, you know, talking in here to all of you, but it's, that will all change when I get the uh, video camera. Oh, Annalisa, there is a movie and I don't know who the actor, it could, I could be wrong, but it looked like that guy from Stranger Things. And it's an R-rated Santa movie, which yeah, I just don't think that bodes well. All right, we're gonna put velvet on here. Velvet. So that way Santa's palm, you know, has a little, I can't make that noise. I wish I could. Okay, red hat time. And we're gonna do that. I think I'll just kind of go like this for now, because you can always put more, more of this glue on but I'm going to take the little bit here of the well mm -mm. also this card stock is a uh, schoolhouse red and Jenna that is a great question I am going to make that available as a free download and when I do I the only thing is the only way I can do it for the general mass is to do it in Photoshop so that is the only thing that might um, mess someone up. But it, but if you have Photoshop elements, you can do it. And uh, yeah, it would be great. I'm reading another question from TJ. Uh, show us partial die cutting on the Gemini. That TJ, I don't know if I really know how to do. You see, here's, here's the beauty about being a card maker 
who's only been doing it for a few years. I mean, oh, actually, I will show you. I would not, I don't know if I would call it partial, but I know what you're talking about, and I'm going to show you. Yeah, because there is something I'm going to have to do partially. So hold tight, slow your roll. PDF file, um, actually, oh, Vicki, yeah, I could do that because if you just wanted printables, it is David Harbour. Thank you. Um, if you just wanted printables, I don't even know. I wasn't even thinking that. Yes, I can provide PDF printables. Emma will remind me. I will put it together for a blog post and it's super easy to trim. I and I just print them on some cheaper cardstock, actually, and uh, they don't need to be super customized. So, yeah. Okay. Uh Dana, I know people do, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> I've got, I, a lot of folks are missing the, the craft slash dining room. And here's, here's the thing. I get it, right? Like I, I do, but I gotta be honest with you. I think that's going to work just fine. I have to, I have to fill in the little holes. I'm not missing it at all. <laughs> like, I'm just so happy to not be in there right now. Um, this is a totally different world in here. This is a world of pure joy and no stress. And I can't, yeah. I'm going to grab a little silver. Hold on here. I need some specialty paper. Now, again, let's see. Am I got, do I got it? Uh, nope, that's not it. Hold on. We're getting it. All right, come here. Nope, that's not it. I should have done this earlier. Okay, here we go. So, paper. Uh, I am uh, I, I am keeping uh, my Simon stuff. Ooh, and look at that. I've got something to show you, a partial die cut. Come here now. Come here. All right. I'm keeping all of my Simon papers in these little bins that fit over in the, uh, I'm going to throw that on the floor, that fit in the, Kale or what are they called? Stamp and storage things that I got. And uh, it just makes me very happy. All right, before I lose too much train of thought, here's my, here's my partial, okay? I need sparkles and I don't, I don't want, I want them to be, I want that one, that one, and that one. But now I don't know if I have a big enough piece. Here's, here's what I would consider partial. As long as I can cover up those three, and I can, like that, then I can get the sparkles that I need. So that is how I, well, and again, I don't think it's wasteful because I do need those three for Santa's sparkles. All right. Okay. Um, Francine, those, you know, I usually put at least one package of 10. I think I can get 20 in at times. Um, let me run this through. It depends. It depends. It's all still, you know, kind of kind of figuring it out. Because the interesting thing that I have found for myself as a crafter, I'm kind of surprised at how, well, how do I say this? How little colored cardstock I use. Um, all right, we don't want to lose you. There's the bottom one. But uh, then you come out. Now see if I wanted to Santa to have a silver face, if I wanted to turn him into a Terminator Santa, you know, made out of that liquid, then I could. But here's what we're gonna do. Oh, just stay there. I'm gonna take this in here, a little more glue. Get in there. And where's my pickup tool? I'm gonna pop this in. I, I think that I have enough storage right now. Oh, get in there. For my, for my cardstock. Um, because I don't, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't need more than I have right now, if that makes sense. And I mean, yeah, I know it's I, the thing that it was so nice to me about now, did I lose that one? No. About the dining room is, you know, a lot, a lot of people, and that has been me low these many years, you don't have like a, a custom space that's all tricked out. This this space isn't exactly tricked out, but it is, it is mine. <laughs> it is, it's mine. And I guess that's all that matters. No. Mm, mm. Uh, yes, Mari, Terminator, Santa. Also, nice to see you, Mari. Okay. 
Now I'm seeing, I'm, I'm trying to follow the chat and before you move the red scrap, it was, it was framing my face. Let's put that back in. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Now I don't have his face yet and that is actually needed. So I have a piece of just cream ivory cardstock. So let's do that. See, this is, this is very, oh, wait, save that one. Sorry. I got to get these on there for the rest of the friends. Okay. It's very PC. And I, if you, I don't remember actually in my video, cause this, I, this is, this die, you can buy it as a standalone, but it was also part of the Simon card kit. And, uh, I made a very simple card with it, but, uh, I, I can't remember how PC it all was. Like, was it super annoying? How about that die cut cam? I mean, if there's anything more exciting on the internet, show me. <laughs> just, just, just. Okay, Santa, your face. Now, I did see people do really cute things, actually. And I wonder, well, no, because I don't really have any ink. I don't, I didn't grab any ink for this, but I saw people make little rosy cheeks on some of their samples for Santa, and I could do that, and I might do that. In fact, what if I just took his nose, like that, okay? And let's, this is starting to get, let's start to get a little crazy over here. What if I grabbed a marker? Hold on here. I'm gonna grab a marker. Oh, gosh, get all the way over here. Um, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Markers. Now, see, that's where I do have to get up and get moving around because you know not everything is where it needs to be. But should I should I just make my own pink nose? Let's see. Let's do R20 for his nose, I don't like that. I'm gonna color it. This is something I never ever think to do, and that is, oh, I don't need that one, um, is to color die cuts. I never have done this. This is a first, I think. Pretty sure, look at this, look at this tiny work. And they said I couldn't make a good doctor. I'm telling you, I missed my calling. That nose looks like a Santa that maybe has had a little too much eggnog. I'm just gonna say it, okay. Now, Santa's face needs to go on, and I keep forgetting about other parts. Here, here's the thing. How many of you out there enjoy paper piecing? Because I don't really think it's my thing, um, but I'm gonna, grab, I'm gonna grab these things too because I want Santa's beard to have a little, I wanna make sure we're in the right space here. Oh yeah, oh, that's gonna be just great. Okay, let's, let's get this out. Um, Paper piecing is not something that I have ever really done before card making because, you know, I, I I think many of you know this or you should. I, I've been around. I'm I'm kind of a dinosaur, but that doesn't mean that I did all the crafty things. You know, I just mostly was a scrapbooker for all these years, um, and uh, so I hadn't done a lot of paper paper piecing. But yeah, coloring the face would be good. I, I could put little rosy cheeks on him. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna layer in, oh, this is intricate. I'm gonna layer this friend here. Actually, this isn't that hard to do because I'm just trying to get a little dimension for his beard, right? Pop you there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the face. I'm gonna lay this in. Uh, yeah. I. I, I want to try to do some more paper PC types of things and just see, like, is it something that I could, you know, see myself doing? Would I be any good at it? Yeah. This is my, this is my little uh, foray into the paper PC. All right, so I think you go right there. Yeah, 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 okay. I wanna press down and I wanna push you in just a little because we do need to get his mustache in. So I'm kind of working a little bit out of order here. Okay, uh, mustache layer, this one. I can, I swear, I need to have like big Mr. Magoo magnifiers like like what watchmakers use uh, because it's a little, well, it's a little hard to see. 
All right, get you in there. Come on now. Let's squeeze in. Did I make it? I might have put that down. Hold on. We gotta. We may have to lift something up. Hold on. He's not. He's not fitting in the way I want him to. Okay. Get over there. There we go. And you. And you were there. And you need to go over. All right. I think. I think that's pretty good. Let's get closer. Okay, Santa, he's coming together. He is coming together. Uh, I really don't know though if uh, if I'm gonna, well, we'll see. The stick and stump, this thing? What is this thing? It's Gina's little uh, tool, but I broke the wax off of it. So <laughs> yeah, I, I think, all right, there's his nose. I think that's a nice nose. <laughs> I know it's really far away from you right now, but um, you know, trust me, we're, we're going to make it work. Now, I still feel like I mucked this up a little bit, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this friend and he twinkles right over. Did I get it right in there? Nope. Come on now. Pick it up. This goes right over Santa's eye like that. Yes. Well, go Oh my gosh, I have no glue in there. Let's put some glue in there. I tell ya, this is a workout. Bubble of glue, see, and pop you in. There we go, stay. Okay, twinkle there, twinkle there. You know what, I might as well put the next twinkle down. This is, it's almost 3.30. This is a lot of work. In fact, today at 4.30, lucky me, uh, I, I get to, I, I don't think it does, Vicki. I feel, cause I feel like Gina's has a bigger, oh, well, let's see. Yeah, this has a much bigger, um, thing. I think I looked at that earlier. So yeah, I, I think it is back in stock. What I ordered was the replacement wax things. But anyway, I'm, I'm meeting with an insurance agent today because I'm an adult and that's what we do, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of bummed because I already paid our car, our car and home insurance. And then he comes and he says he's got a better deal. I'm like, Joe, he's the nicest man though. Okay, let's add a fluffy hat head. Okay, now we're building up dimension. So fluffy hat head, fluffy mustache. Okay, come here. Okay. This is where... This is where the velvet is kind of magical. We're gonna pot, potch, potch you down. There we go. Now Santa's head looks good. Let's do the mustache. Okay. This is this is a lot. And also, I haven't even. Thank you for everyone who's joining today. I I feel a little I feel a little frazzled, but uh, I'll tell you what, it's a lot nicer to be frazzled up here in this room where I don't have to worry about, you know, my husband walking through and saying, hey, what are you doing? How's it going? Because he talks exactly like that. <laughs> oh, he's he's a good man. He's a good man. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, okay, so Natalie, I did blue eyes on my other video, and I didn't love it, and I ended up changing them to black. So I think I'm probably gonna stick that way okay uh, and now we're gonna put on more softness here we go uh, but I'm definitely oh they are out of out of stock still okay uh, I'm definitely oh no 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 don't do that Kath just calm down let's get it let's get it in there frame it out go go around and I want to make sure that we can still see the twinkle yeah there we go okay okay I think that's enough, right? Because what you have here, he's fuzzy. He feels good. Um, I think I need fuzzy on that side too. Did I save that piece though? Yes, I did. Let me add fuzzy in there. And then I'll cut I'll cut some eyes. We we want our baby to have eyes. Do you know what sketch that is? My husband and I quote that a lot. We want our baby to have eyes. Okay. Um I think, I think we're good. So here, you know, oh, let's get some eyes. <laughs> we want our baby to have eyes. Wait for the insurance. <laughs> I don't, I missed, I missed the comment, but you know, 
insurance. What are you going to do? Pink cheeks. Yes, I might, but I feel like I might also ruin it if I do that. So we're going into our scraps and I'm going to try to find a little tiny piece. Do I have a tiny, tiny piece? You know what? This is, this is how you make a scrap work. The robot movie. No, it was, um, it's a Saturday night live sketch. The two a-holes. Does any, does anyone remember that Kristen Wiig? And I think it was Jason Sudeikis and they were at an adoption agency and her only request was she want, they wanted their baby to have eyes. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We just, yeah. Uh, yes, Brenda, I do have the neatest scraps because I have recently organized them so that I can access them easily. Okay, here's another partial die cut. Really, I just want the eyes. So we're going to do that. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm worried I might mess it up. You know, it happens. All right, one more die cut cam. Here we go. Oh, Vicky, do you mean like do a black marker in his uh, for his eyes? I mean, I could, I could, but you know what? It's one of those things like as soon as someone says, get a pen in hand, I start to get really nervous. Like what? I, I don't want to color on something that I've worked this because I mean, that would be 30 minutes of hard work gone, right? All right. We're, we're making a mess though, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. I and I. That's going to be just fine. Save all these other pieces. And what am I looking for? Hold on just a second. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, he his eyes, how they twinkle. But I, when I did blue cardstock before, I tell you, I did this in a video in my kit unboxing and it made Santa look like he may have been a zombie. And so It'll all make sense. I promise. Santa, Santa has the deadest eyes in the land. Um, we're just gonna go for it. You trust, trust. Because he is more of a cartoon. Oh, now see, there's some blue coming off the um, the Gina K. Connect. Uh, which way does this go? Oh my gosh, I can't even see which is the die cut side. It's so tiny. Is it? No. Okay. We're going to drop it and hopefully, oh, there we go. It landed the right way. Yes. Okay. Now we get to design something fun. Okay. Okay. See, it's kind of fun though. I am Santa. I thought the blue eyes were a little cre creepy too. So now we have Santa. Now here's my thoughts. Okay. So, got a question for you. Um, how many of you at home have tag dies? Because I, I have tag dies. I have some Hero Arts tag dies. Um, I have uh, my own, which I'm going to, I think I'm going to use today. But if you don't have a tag, it's so easy to do your own. You know this, right? Like you can actually, let me scrape some of these scraps off. Got to bring my garbage can in here, my recycle can actually. I have a paper can for paper scraps, for recycling, and garbage. Okay, um, for example, if I were to do a tag with this, I would literally, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you, easiest thing, okay? You guys come over there for now, cause you're done, okay? Santa, we're gonna move. So you take your piece, right, and you cut it. Um, I'm gonna do, let's say we're gonna do a two and a, two and three quarters inch tag like that okay that was a terrible cut because if I don't stand up uh I gotta come a little bit there we go I have to stand and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go okay you're gonna go like that you're just gonna cut a corner off your tag oh hold it down like that pick this up uh, where's my, I like to do this with my dot adhesive. Where did you go? Here we go. Pick it up. <laughs> Come over to the other side. Put a tiny bit of adhesive down, right? Put it right back on the opposite way. Is that right? Yeah. Like that. Okay. That's your guide. Put this back in. 
and I gotta stand up and trim. And now, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, there's better ways probably to do it. And then I'm gonna take a little, I'm doing a terrible cutting job. There we go. And then, once you get all that off, all you need to do is punch a little hole in it. So let's get my hole punch. Do I have a hole punch? Well, I have a corner rounder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, somewhere in this space, I have a hole punch, but then you just have a tack. So, you know, you can do that. You just, you just, and you could have measured it too. You didn't have to do what I did. If you're better with a paper trimmer, it's going to be great. Um, but then you have your little tag. But here's the thing. I don't want to do a red tag. Okay, I, I could, I'm going to keep that. But let me grab what I really want. Let's see. Where are you? <gasps> There you. No, nope, that's not it either. Hold on. I need to find that. Yes. Okay. Craft. All right. Now I'm gonna cut this uh, with this trimmer because I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm having issues with that other trimmer. I don't know why. Also, did you know that the, all these guillotines are back in stock at Simon Says Stamp? That was a little aggressive, sorry. They are, oh, and this goes into my scrap bin, so. And what I'm going to use, and I don't, I don't think these are in stock, um, but this is my nested tag die. There's also a set from Hero Arts that I think is pretty awesome. Um, but I need to poke. I need to do a little poke in here. So here's what I'm gonna do though. I am not going to cut this yet. I'm just going to figure out my design because I think this would make a great, um, I think this is gonna make the cutest tag ever, except I will tell you straight up, I don't have any twine in this space. So that that's gonna to have to come at a later date and time, but you know, because there's no way I'm running downstairs and then running back up, you know what I mean? So, okay. So now what I need to do is just stamp my green. Um, and I think, now there are dies with this too. You can cut everything out, which I, again, I've hardly done anything. I, I, I love Santa is watching. He knows what you did. <laughs> he knows what you did. Um, this is meant to be sassy, right? Uh, only visit people once a year. Santa's a genius. Now that speaks to the introverts out there, okay? But I think, oh, now, uh, maybe what I want to try is, well, I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe I do need to do a naughty or nice on this tag. I mean, that would be really cute because then you could just give it to someone. So maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. All right, let's take this off. And... Misty, where are you? Where's my Misty tool? Hold on. I, there you are. Oh, come on in here. All right. What did I just, I am, I don't know what just happened. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Can you all still hear me? I don't know what I said to her. But somehow I triggered her on my computer. Well, stranger things have happened. Okay. So let's get this out. I, I swear. There's always going to be something that is happening in here. No idea. I mean, at least, you know, what's her name <laughs> isn't here. And I think you know who I'm talking about. Her name starts with an A. Okay. I need to trim this down just a little bit. I mean, I could have it hanging out, but okay. I don't know what happened, uh, you all. Oh, maybe that was it. I said my most incredible stamping tool and she thought I was talking to her. That is, yeah, that's bizarre. Okay, so I'm going to do a naughty or nice and I feel like there is enough room. And the reason I was, yes, she is, she is very naughty. Um, the reason I want to stamp first is just in case there's any warping, right? But I think this would make a really cute gift tag. 
And actually, well, see, here's where I don't know though. What if I put naughty or nice down here? Okay, we're at the bottom, right? And then Santa's little head is here. And he could just be like that. I don't know why I'm trying to get all asymmetrical. Do you know what I mean? Why not just keep it basic? Hola. Um, I think I'm going to keep it basic because I'm also, I can also stamp something on the back and I just came up with a good idea. I think it's a good idea. All right. We're gonna go like that. I mean, this would be cute for a tag too, you know, like, um, or for a card, like just take the tag and pop the whole thing up on a greeting card. I think would be really fun, but here's what we're going to do. Let's, well, I don't, I haven't even used this stamp. Hey, Carla. Now I'm looking up and I can see all of your comments. Sometimes I don't see them all. I mean, I see them. I just don't look up enough. Polly's out there living in Florida where it's a lot probably warmer than here. I'm telling you that. Okay. Let's, uh, well, Lydia, that's what they say. Laughter is good. It is good to, you know, when things are heavy, it can be really good to laugh. When um, we shared some really fun stories about my father-in-law who passed away on October 30th and just sharing some funny stories. It, it, it reminds you what joy and what life people brought into your life. And, oh, there were some doozies. There were some good ones. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm inking with the Versamark pen. Okay. And greetings to anyone who's just joining. It's very nice. Very nice to have you here. Uh, Debbie Tool. There we are. Come here, Debbie Tool. All right. I'm going to press this down into my craft cardstock. Did I mention it's Gina K. Craft? It's a beautiful craft cardstock. Oh, Gina. And I know paper is a premium right now. Like, it's hard to find. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to stamp one more time just for more of a coating. All right. Like that. And maybe I'll give this, this tag can go onto a package for the hubby. Because he's, you know, he's, he's actually nice. He's a nice most of the time. All right. That looks good. Um, I will... No, Annalisa, I think we there were many great stories told. My my husband was one of the eulogizers, and I don't think I've ever seen him speak more beautifully and eloquently and funny, you know, in some of the things that he said about uh, my late father-in-law. It was, it was beautiful. He did a beautiful job, and I was so proud of him. Um, his sister also did a wonderful job. So, oh, it was... A lot to be said about a man that cared very deeply about the world that we live in. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take our powder. Where did you go? I pulled you. There you are. Okay, we're going to go with the white powder from Simon. This is the fine detail. And hopefully it will work. I will tell you that doing this during the winter when it's chilly... And I'm kind of cold. This is a lot nicer than hot summer days. I have no idea what's going to happen in this room in the summer because it's going to be hot as Hades. Look at that. That looks great. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. Well, 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 you know, we'll find out. We will find out. All right. Let me grab a Swiffer cloth. Rolling out. Rolling in. Okay. Emma, can we just, can we, well, that's the thing. We can't have a window unit in here because the windows aren't big enough. What we are going to do is, no, Polly, we have air conditioning. That's what's crazy. It just doesn't work in this room very well. Um, I am going to get, I think, hold on here. Come on now. I'm going to get one of those AC splits and I'm going to have it installed right up on the open space in the wall. And I'm just going to tell my husband, this is where I work and I have to control the temperature and it will be quiet and remote controlled. Mm. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Linda, I would do a portable, but again, we have the issues with the venting of the standalone units. Um, oh, 
All right, Emma. But yeah, the splits. Splits might be the way to go. All right, I'm going to turn this on. Oh, look, now it looks like I... Santa's just peeking out from behind me. Hey, Kathy, what's going on? All right. Annalisa, we, yeah, we definitely have different weather zones in this house. It's crazy. Well, I think that looks lovely. All right. Naughty or nice. Naughty or nice. And look at that. It frames. Oh. Like it was was like it was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like it was meant to be. Now I'm channeling Laura Bassett. <laughs> oh, where did you go? Edge of my tape. Come on now. Yeah, don't. Jewels, not tools. Come on. There we go. All right. I am gonna tape this into place. And we're just trying to, you know, frame it equal on all sides, right? You know, over there, take this little piece that I had earlier. And we're gonna do that. Yeah, I, I've lived in Minnesota for, I don't know, 30, 32 years, 30, 32, 33. And uh, I'm actually a fan of winter. Not necessarily going out into it, but looking at it from, out, from inside. Um, Cause I'm always cool. <laughs> just, uh, there's a joy there. Okay, let's, getting messy over here. Go back to die cut camp and run you through. Hey Mindy. Good to see you here. Uh, just uh, Mindy, I got to tell you, I was mentioning earlier that I did order a camera. However, uh, it is not the G60. I literally B&H basically said it's discontinued, so I'm going with the G50. I'm going to have a whole wired remote control, but I couldn't wait. So that is the camera that I'm getting. I'm kind of excited. Y'all should check out Mindy's channel because not only is she a great card maker, she is, but her video is just like, oh, looks so good. Looks so good, Mindy. Okay, so now I have my tag. Now, there are cute little reinforcements on here. So, you know, if you want to and again, I don't think this set is available right now. I think it's sold out. Um, but like, again, I showed you how easy it is to make a tag. Although, do I want to have, you know, sometimes I feel like when you, it's just so cute. Sometimes I feel like when you put something, you know what? No, mm -mm, mm -mm. here's what we're doing. We're doing that because I like tone on tone so much, but I'm going to do one more thing here. So let's, all right. All right. Yes. Mindy, Mindy's killing it and she's an amazing card maker. Okay. Mari that, okay. Mari, that's me too. Um, and I just went with the G 50 because the, the guys at B and H said they don't think you can use a remote control wired. It doesn't have Bluetooth capability like the beautiful G60. Um, and and if we're if we're mounting something to our ceiling, we want to be able to remote control it. So I bought a third party remote. Uh, it's the same camera setup that they use at Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine for all of their live streams, which they just got that setup. And that's going to be mine soon. Okay, uh, this is what I like to do. Let's get you over here. I like to have a tone on tone. So when I have my new camera, I'll be able to zoom in and it will all be just lovely. Not that I couldn't zoom in with the iPhone, but I really did move it. Um, the regular Gemini and this platform, Barbara, I wonder about that. I mean, there, there's a lot of, well, actually, let me show you. Let's go to die cut cam. Can you, well, you can't see, but it doesn't fit, like there's empty space. See that? And same thing on the sides. It's kind of casting a shadow right now and the way the camera is, but this is smaller than the base that it's sitting on. Um, so I, you know, I wonder if it would work. It might, it might. But I hate to say that something will, oh, that's a little too much. 
uh, unless I know for sure. Now, one thing I would put in here is a little twine. However, as I told you, all my baker's twine is downstairs. I need to move some, I, I still am bringing things up and that is something that I will do for sure. My favorite is like a, I have a craft baker's twine from Doodlebug. And I think when I take a picture, I will make sure to put the craft, uh, it's craft and white, it's really cute. Okay, now I'm gonna get some foam squares. So let me grab those. All right, let's just do, you know what? I don't, I don't mind making a thicker Santa pop up, okay? So we're gonna say little friend here like that. Yeah, just a couple. These are the foam squares from Simon. They are the uh, thicker loft. There's ones are thinner and ones are thicker. And yeah, yeah. The the totally Tiffany thing. I which is who makes it. Um, the turntable. It's it's really for drawing, right? You clip your art and then you can, you know, move your table around and, but Simon has just sold a ton of them, I think, because when people realize that they are going to work for this very purpose, it it's just so great. It's so great. Oh, Brenda, that's such a good idea. And I actually have an action wobbler somewhere. I have no idea where. I bought a three pack of action wobblers. That would have been absolutely adorable, but I think they're still downstairs. I can't do it. I don't have a I don't have them here. And it, even if even if my husband was home, he'll be home any minute. If I told him locate the action wobblers, we're just asking for trouble. Okay, but I do want to do one more thing and I need some ink. So hold on here. Um but I don't know where it is. Oh, we'll get it. Okay. Um, this friend. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, I just gotta get up. And... Okay. I think it would be fun or funny. Let me see. If we took naughty or nice. Um, I think I will put on the back. He knows what you did. <laughs> Where's my, where's my stamp positioner? I don't want to call it by its name now in case it actually, you know, because sometimes, it, you know, you want, you want people to be honest, right? And so you got to encourage that. I think we're going to do that. We're going to be like, yeah, I do have legs <laughs> and I do have pants on. So I always craft with pants. He knows what you did. I think this is hilarious. And I'm just going to put it correspondingly right, right here at the bottom. Come on now, stamp. My paper is a little warped. He knows what you did. It's just so ominous, but I love it. Okay, we're pushed in. We're inking up. I mean, the thing is, though, I could put more color on his face, but I'm afraid to mess it up. Although what, you know what? It's just paper. It's just paper, right? So why, there, there it is. He knows, he knows what you did. And that's why Santa is crying. Okay. You know, I could, should I, should I do it though with Copic marker? Probably. Oh, I'm sorry. That <laughs> F Joe Clemens, we're just talking video cameras. There's a there's a, a shortage in video cameras that a lot of craft YouTubers love to use, and uh, that just got a little tech nerdy. I'll I'll save that when I launch my tech talk for amateur hour. That that's me. Okay, okay. So here we go. Naughty and nice. So that's what I'm wondering. Let's get a face and practice. Well, let's just practice. What I just do, see, I feel like if I put cheeks on him, is that gonna look weird? Like what I don't have, do I have any? Oh, I, I have some Tim Holtz crayons. Hang on. Now look at this. Isn't that pretty? So this is gonna go on my shelf as soon as my husband, uh, helps me. But now I don't know if I have a color that's close enough. 
tattered rose is warmer. You know what I mean? Like maybe, I don't, I don't know though, because that's meant to be activated with water, you know? Ah, oh, well, let me show you. See that? I just don't know. Um, I could do a little, cause I saw, I saw people doing a lot of coloring on it. Chalk, I don't, I don't have chalk. Or actually I, I do have some chalk, but you know what? I, yeah, Francine, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that because see, this isn't quite the same as his nose. I mean, it, it wouldn't, because see, how am I gonna get that, his cheeks? Let's just do a little, okay? Let's just do a little. I don't even think this is good. Oh, this isn't going to hurt a thing. Yep, that's not going to hurt a thing. Little there, little over here. That's it. That's it. I saw people totally inking up. There, how's that? A little bit better? Can you see that? We're good. <laughs> we're good. I think it's good enough. Just a little. Okay. Uh, now we're going to put this all away. Oh yeah, this is all three sets together. And this little container, unfortunately, is sold out right now at um, Organize More. And I hope they get them back in because I have room for another release behind there. See that? I love that. Okay, we're almost done. And now we take these off. And the check mark will be left you know, that will be left to interpretation. So how people behave over the next few months, well, you know, they they know, they know, but at least they'll be reminded if they look under the tree. No, okay. So again, this Santa is part of the kit from Simon, the December card kit, which I do have a video. I will m most certainly uh, link that below in the description to this video, but I think Now, that's a lot of work for a tag. Do you know what I mean? But you know, but look how cute that is. It's got a little, got a little Santa dimension. I mean, it's, you know, it's not not cute, right? And then you flip it over and it says, he knows what you did. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. So let's go to, let's see if it still works. Comment cam. Oh my goodness. Now comment cam. <laughs> to change. That is terrible. We got to zoom in a little on comment cam. Hold on. Come here now. Come on. Oh, that's the wrong mouse for the wrong computer. Okay. We're getting there. We're going to comment cam and iPhone 2 and zooming in. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So that's, ouch, that's my finished card project, or tag project. Um, you know, sometimes you just, let's zoom out there. There we go. Let's get it. Hi. So what do you think? Kind of fun, huh? Kind of cute. Very simple. You know, give, and it is super bright right here. Let me, let me play with something. Let's go down, down, down. And now that just looks a little yellow, but at least you can see it a little better. So that's my finished tag for today. And, uh, you know, it's simple, right? Stuff like this, this, this would look so cute on a gift package where you just stamp some random Christmas trees on some craft paper and, you know, just kind of, Oh, there's a little red star on the map. I, <laughs> missing, I don't know what I'm supposed to look for here. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like how that turned out. So that that's it. Now I wonder too, does anyone, Oh, I see it. It's right so cute. And I can save that for something else. Um, does any, yeah, it was a lot of work, Charlene. I mean, let's be real. I'm not, you know, we're not mass producing these, but you know, if you were having your cocoa and lots of whipped cream on that cocoa and you wanted to make like some really cute tags again, you know, you could pop this up onto a card. I mean, that would look cute, right? Just put some foam tape on the back of that, pop that up, have the string coming out. Let me, let me visualize this for you. Hold on. For example, if you did that, it would look like this. There's your card front, right? And then you would just pop it up on the card. I mean, that would, that would be a really cute card, actually. Um, hmm. 
but I think I'm going to, well, you know what? Actually, I might turn this into a card. What would you do? Would you turn it into a card? Or would you leave it as a tag? <gasps> or would you put a cute pattern in the background? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, where's the kit? Where are the kits? I got to grab something from the other room. So see, this is what's a little crazy, uh, is that <laughs> I have to store stuff in my daughter's old bedroom too, but one of the things in the kit that was so fun is, oh, did I not, no, 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 here it is, here it is, okay, is the pattern paper. So what if I did a, okay, now we got to go back to, well, no, I think we're good. We're good right here. Um, you could make another for a card, but look at this, look at the pattern paper. Like what if I put it on, eh, I don't know if the reds are right. Do you know what I mean? Like if you popped it up, yeah, I don't know if that red is, is right, um, on the hat, but you know what I mean? Like what if that was the background of the card? I mean, it is kind of cute. Pattern paper in the kit is so adorable, but they do all have the same sort of tone. I don't know. I mean, I could even do like a little matte, you know, show a little bit of the white and then pop something down like that. Hmm. Vicki says no. I, you know, what about, oh, what about this one? What about this one? And this is what, you know, this is what a live stream's all about, friends. You can change your mind. You can play around. I mean, but see, here's the thing. The reds are off in this collection. Not, I, I absolutely love them, but this is not, well, this one might be closer. Let's see. Like that. No, mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, but I think the one that I liked the best, see, this is, this is my favorite pattern in the kit. I just think it's so stinking cute because it's the big bold stripe. This is where I wish I had a crop tool that I could overlay things and see exactly what I was doing. But see, I don't like, I do not like that red and that red. Yeah, it, it, it bugs me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna use this pattern paper, but I think I will, uh, let's put you back in. I will, add this to a note card and then add the ribbon, uh, the craft ribbon, and then I will take some pictures, I think, and show you after the fact. So if you look on my Instagram, um, I'm going to do that. I don't, oh wait, I do have a note card. Hold on. I told my hubby I would be done in time for the insurance dude. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. Okay, here, let's just do this real quick. Hold this in. Uh, go like that. See, that's just it. I, I love a good tag, but the re I just want to show you that a tag makes a cute card, right? And actually, let's just go back to regular table cam. All right, here we go. There we go. We don't, <laughs> I promise I'm going to wrap it up as soon as I figure this out. Okay, like that. And then we go here. Mini Slimline could be very cute too. Um, but yeah, the red, this Schoolhouse Red is, it's a firecracker. Like it's super bold and bright. But if I took this and let me grab uh, tape. And I'm actually gonna use a really thin loft tape. This is the ThermaWeb. I wanna say it's like a 1 16th or a tag, a tag shaped card would be very, very cute. Um, oh yes, I know I need to get an, a, a refund on that. That's the thing that made me mad is that it's like I already paid. I pay on time because my bill was due. So I'm like, Joe, why are you waiting this long to come and give us a deal? But yes, we will get refunded. It'll be great. We've worked with the same insurance agent for like, I don't know, 30 years or something. Um, and then I'll have to, I'm not gonna adhere this until I get the 
thing threaded, which I will grab after the fact. And again, I will, as always, update supplies underneath, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I want to do. And then I'm going to put a little, uh, craft and white doodle bug Baker's twine through there. And that's going to be the finished card. And then you don't get to see the thing on the back, but guess what? You can open it up and that's where I'll stamp, uh, he knows what you did. Okay, so that's it. That's what we've got for today. I know, Vicki, but I'm going to add it back in. Uh, it's going to work. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay, well, wow, that was, that was a, that was fun and good to get back into the habit of going live, uh, taking a couple weeks off. I, I feel a little rusty, but I am going to take some cute pictures of this later. I will post it to the community tab here on YouTube. And then I will also uh, post it to Instagram. I'll post it to Facebook. Yeah, I'll just put it, I'll put it where it needs to be. But I wanted to thank all of you for coming. Hello, Natasha. Voila. <laughs> um, I wanted to thank you all for coming today. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff coming. I've been editing some videos today some really fun card projects on tap. So just, you know, keep an eye out, subscribe to my newsletter. I always let my subscribers know when there is a new video. Hopefully it's not too, too annoying. Sometimes it is, but mostly it's just, it's just, it's just okay. So thank you again. And I just wanted to wish you all a really great rest of your day. And I will see you back here with another card project soon. And I just got to remember how to end. Bye. Where's my end screen? There it is. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe,